Hey, what's good, people? It's V Does Tech, and we are checking out the Sound Peats Capsule 3 Pro. Now, a huge shout out to Sound Peats for sending these out to the channel for review. But before we dive in and start talking about how good the earbuds are, you know how we do over here. We start off with a mic test. So you're in the car, you're going to work, you're going from work, you're running errands, who knows? But you need to take a quick call. You got one earbud in, playing it safe, driving safely, of course. And you need to take a quick call. This is the type of audio you can expect to get. Let's go ahead and roll the windows down. Of course, as soon as I roll the windows down, I come to a stop. <laughs> Let's try to get some wind. All right, so we got some wind going now. This is the type of audio you can expect. Is it blocking the wind out? Can you hear me clearly as this? Yo, I almost went off. I almost went off on video because somebody shouldn't have taken a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but this is the type of audio you can expect to get. Let's go ahead and roll the windows back up because it's a little bit chilly. And this is the type of audio you can expect to get from the Sound Peaks Capsule 3 Pros. You need to take a quick phone call. You're in the car. The windows are rolled up. This is the audio you can expect to get. Let's go ahead and talk about how good these earbuds are. Let's go. Capsule 3 are one of the few earbuds that I can recommend to anyone. I can't say that about many earbuds. These come with Bluetooth 5.2, which means you will be good for a while. They have LDAC and high res audio, ANC, transparency mode, app support. Now, the app support, I'm not going to lie, it needs a little bit of work. I'm just happy to have app support on a pair of earbuds coming in around $60. But if you ask me, if Soundpeats takes maybe just about, let's say, three months, just take a three-month break, don't release any new earbuds, <laughs> put all of the focus that you have into making earbuds, into fixing your app, they will be a force to be reckoned with. But yo, the, at least we have app support, right? That way, using the app, you can keep your earbuds updated. So at least we have that. We have a gaming mode, single earbud use, and great battery. Let's start with design. Personally, I think these are the best looking earbuds that I have ever seen. And they look fantastic in the ear. They don't stick out or bulge out drastically. They fit perfectly with my style visually my favorite earbuds ever. I mean, just look at that design. These looks, yo, these look amazing. Can't get over how great they look. Now the case is nothing special. It's big and bulky. I will put it in my backpack before I carry it in my pocket, but hey, at least it has a matte finish. I will take that all day. They finally listened. They got rid of the, of the slippery case. I'm okay with that. Fantastic case. <laughs> I have been using these hardcore for about the last month with a mix of different settings and I have not been able to kill these off in a single week. In a work week from like let's say Sunday to Sunday, I cannot kill them. Now battery is fantastic for me, but it also depends on how you use your earbuds. I usually hover around 60 to 70% volume with LDAC always on because why not? But with LDAC off, your battery life will be that much better. Um, I swap a lot between transparency mode, depending on what I need. Now the ANC, I'll give it like a, a, a seven, a seven out of 10, which isn't bad. Transparency mode, I'll give that like an 8.5, not bad at all. I'm really impressed. They are making, they are giving you really solid A and C in transparency mode on once again, a set of earbuds that I believe is coming in around $60. The volume is plenty for me. I usually max out around 80, 90%. I like that you don't have to max them out to make them sound good. When it comes to actual sound quality, these are surprisingly pretty balanced. They're not too far off from their Opera 3s and Opera 5s, which are their flagship audiophile type earbuds. Now, I am a bass head, not an audiophile. So when I say that these aren't bass heavy, I'm not saying that they don't have plenty of bass. I'm saying that I like my bass at like an 11. These come in somewhere around a 7. YouTube and Spotify are my music sources. I've been testing them out on Android. 
I don't have any Apple products to really talk about them from that angle, so I can't really go too in depth with that. But from the Android side, I do not have any complaints. Even with LDAC off, they still sound really good. Now, of course, these are not perfect. I'm talking, I might sound like I'm hyping them up. What are they missing? Well, three things. One, no wireless charging. You have earbuds that are coming in around $35 with wireless charging. Look, I'm going to keep bringing it up and hope someone's listen. Number two, no in-ear detection. Some of their other earbuds have in-ear detection, so I'm not sure why these don't. These would probably make the most sense to have them on. Their other earbuds, like the open back earbuds, they have uh, in-ear detection, and it really doesn't make sense because they're open back, so you can hear like a majority of what's going on around you anyway. But since these have the silicone tips on them, it would make that much sense to have in-ear detection on these so you don't have to double tap to pause or so you don't have to take them out of your ear so that you can hear what's going on around you. Now the transparency do work, but like if someone sneaks up on you at work, one of your annoying coworkers or something, if you can just take the earbud off and it automatically pauses it for you, that would be so convenient, especially with silicone tips, which are plugging up your ears. And number three, no rewind or previous track, none of that. I do not understand why they have all of the other touch control features in Note, but no previous track. That really makes no sense. But look, outside of that, these have been great. The fit is comfortable for me. I rarely have to adjust, even with exercise. These fit in my ear really well. I tried all of the ear tips out, but the ones that came on them, which I believe is the medium, I can also use the, the smalls as well, but these fit in my ear perfectly. I have no issues with that. I rarely have to adjust. Yeah, these have been really great. So make sure you always try out all of the extra ear tips that come in the box. You do you cannot understand how great a fit is until you finally find it. And he was like, yo, I should have did this sooner. So make sure you always try out the ear tips. But yeah, outside of that, no issues with connections. I put my phone down and just walk away. Never have them disconnect or anything like that. Let's do one more mic test right here. But yeah, overall, I've really enjoyed my experience with these. Really good sound quality, great battery life. As you can hear, the mics are really good as well, both indoors and outdoors. I gotta say, I'm impressed. I'll catch you on the next one. It's Vita's Tech. Later.